So, with the new update, this 6.5 Nightmare Adventure in Ancient Fear is now the most difficult adventure in the entire game. I'm going to try to beat it with Fiddlesticks, but I say we start as 5-star Fiddlesticks first to see how it goes, and then when we probably end up losing, I will upgrade the boy to 6-star and we go back in. When the foe draws a follower that costs 3 or less, they summon it and grant it plus 2 plus 2 and pierce. And it has deadly. Wait. Cost 3 or less. So let's say it's like a 2-2. Like a two -two. It becomes a 4-4. Four -four, and then this happens. So it becomes a 6-6. Six -six. Let's get in. We summon a 1 cost ally. Granted plus 2 plus 2. Well, we were kind of going to try to do that. But I don't think it's great. Oh my god. Wait, guys, little buddies? And we have shock and awe. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. Okay, that's that's hilarious. Loaded dice has to be... I think so too. I think his best build for higher end adventure are his own relic, loaded dice, and Nora. That's what I think. Wait, this is kind of crazy. Do we just... Okay, they have 25 cards, huh? Ah, yes. 8-5. Okay. That's a little worrying, but all right. Nah, I'm just gonna attack with everything. <laughs> okay. Wait, so that's five hits. Six. Seven, eight. Nine, ten. We mill ten. Surely we get some nightmares from that, right? Surely. Oh, there we Okay, okay. All right. This is also a one drop. Okay, we're kind of cooking then. <laughs> Maybe that is a good build. Maybe that is just really good. 12 cards left. All right, all right, all right, all right. So if you nab Fiddlesticks, opponent spawns it. That's a good question, actually. If you nab the card that has the Fiddlesticks Nightmare on it, do they get the Fiddlesticks? I... My mind is a wonder. It, it makes sense that it would work that way. But that's that's a wacky interaction. Wait, what, <laughs> guys, what if we beat it? What if we beat this adventure with a 5-star Fiddle instead of a 6-star? What then? Wait, this is crazy. These are all one drops. Wait, that's nuts. What the hell? I'm still five star fiddle because I wanted to see what that's like, and then I wanted to do six star fiddle when I probably lose. But this is this is crazy. We got pretty lucky though with the poro power, I suppose. But shock and all might actually be kind of cooking on Fiddle. Might be better than it seemed. His 6-star doesn't seem to be the biggest game changer. It seems absolutely broken. His 6-star seems ridiculous. It seems completely busted. I mean, this is a 1-drop. Oh, wait, this... Oh, hold on. I'm taking this. We spawned it at the start. Okay. What is Fiddle's 6-star? Whenever you terrify, apply Gloom to the entire enemy board and give a random ally plus 2 spirit. You make your board bigger, and you call the enemy board. It, it cannot be... cannot be bad. Uh, this is one drops too, so I guess I'll just take this. What the shock and I'll do? It puts a skill on the stack that pings for one when you attack with a one cost. Um... Uh, I'm gonna go here. I'll pick up a revive. I think the other two are pretty bad. Yeah, I was really surprised because yesterday when we played, we kind of found out against Lysandra that it turns out that Nora's Relic is just really good because you turbo mill. Like in every sense of the word, you just obliterate their deck so fast. We did also have a duplicate, so that did also speed things up a little bit. Eating undercooked chicken isn't good, right? I would advise against it, yeah. I would advise against it. Should not do that. I know what lurks. 
Fuck. Before they know they're bleeding. I'll be quick. We could use a bite. I don't get it for this. Oh, okay, so at least was bad then. Wait, at least sucks. Someone spiraling doesn't work. That's that's really bad because we consistently draw her too. I mean, at least he's cheap, I guess. Fine. 13 cards. Yeah, she does have double attack. At least that's something if she gets a slight buff. Hold it, sweetheart. She's not taking any damage, I guess. Might have to win by milling here. Alright, we can play this, the Brute Awakening. It's pretty good. Ten cards. They should just do it. Oh, oh no, wait. I've done a mana. Did someone's a Poro? Really? Oh my god! We have assembled Exodia by accident. Great Dragoor. What are we playing on this Friday? We're trying the new 6.5 star adventure with the fiddle. Let's see how it goes. Alright, eight cards. I think they're just dead there. That's fiddle. Yeah. Alright, goodbye. We milled them. <laughs> there it is. Fiddle as a boss is quite unfun. Why is that? Every time I hear somebody complain about Fiddle Boss, it's like I tried to do it with Jinx and I couldn't win. God forbid, the strongest champion can't win. I don't like this. Oh. Alright. A couple of pranks. Oh, I haven't... No, we... Oh, we, we went here once, and they never summoned the dragon. What are the relics? Um... I'm running his relic, Shock and Awe, and Nora. Answer, do you think it'll be bad? It might be. I think we'll be okay. Minus two health. Oh my god, it's ephemeral too. This thing is six mana? Come close. Okay, the worst thing about pranks is that we now hear the water sound the entire time. We could use yeah, they should probably try to fix that. No quarter. Four. Doesn't matter. It's a nice sound. Bring it back. All right. Well, I got another prank right here. Your time in the cycle is done. Whoa! No nightmares. Oh, there it is. Oh my God! The best one. Liz gonna survive. No, the second hit from double attack isn't a quick attack, so she would always die. Only the first hit from double attack is a quick attack. The second one is a regular attack, so they strike you back. Oh, but oh, but it's, you're right. It's gloom, right? I was thinking of it as a deal too. You're right, actually. Yeah. Well, I can block them, so I'm not really too worried. Oh, well, neither are they. They're just passing. Okay. I was fiddle, 10 out of 10. I love him. He is beautiful. Oh 
my god, they're gonna take so much damage here. Rather, we're gonna terrify so much. W do you think that's ever 11? Low key, it might. I'll do this too because it hits their nexus. That's three. I think they're dead. That that's gotta be more than 11 instances. It's like 14. All right. You win a surprising amount by just milling them more often than you would think. So, whatever happens, we will be getting Fiddlestick 6 star. Even if we can do it here, or rather, even if we beat this adventure at 5 star, I will still be upgrading the boy to 6. This is the literal same thing we just got. Flame. The shop. We still want to create an ally gun plus 1 plus 1. That's pretty good. That is not the worst. Oh my god, fearsome spiderling? I mean, yeah, right? Summon three different poros. Grant poor Alice plus two plus two. I'll take the I'll take the spider. How many stars? Five. Uh, let's let's cut this. I think this seems to be the worst card. Strand by silken strand. Blackberry Sparkling. This is a good drink. The gloom and everything is broken. So, I haven't been able to confirm, but... When you terrify five times at the round end, that means you apply gloom five times, right? That's five gloom. Did you know the Billful Seeker, the one who on strike prints himself, is the Mace Seeker? Yeah. Yeah, I saw that. That's really cool that they're doing that. Continuation. Don't mind the knife. My little dear, come closer. I don't. If only those suitors were as lovely as you. Oh, random oh, elusive, huh? Oh. Hush now. Uh, the problem is fearsome blockers, which I have none of. What's your hurry? Yeah, that's kind of a large problem, actually. We need some nightmares. We get a good amount here. Now you've gone and upset it. Okay. Now I have 15 champs at 6 stars and a PNZ Nova Crystal. I'm waiting to use on Victor. And I'm almost to 300 on the pass. I played way too much yesterday. I mean, good for you. That is nice. The patch is very good. Do you play Yumi and Patachamp? No, I haven't. Does, does this thing have a free attack? Oh my god. Chad, I don't feel so good. His blessing is life, his anger death. To have over on. Eighteen parts, two nightmares, so two fiddles in there. What's that noise? Okay, that's really good. Hmm. That was my cart. So I just need to keep mana for Crow Storm next turn. Sixteen. Draw a spell. I can play this and this. Yeah, this means the only mana I have next turn is for Crow Storm, but I guess I'll go for it. Crow Storm is very yeah, that's the item. It's it's usually slow, but uh, from his upgrades it becomes first. Okay, the fact that they now have 15 or less cards, and our cards getting plus 2 plus 2 is actually a really big deal. Because that means we have fearsome blockers. These will all die from Crowstorm. 
And if we get a fiddle six, even better. Surely, right? No fiddle? Okay, from this, surely we get a fiddle. This is three terrify. I mean, that works. Too. I didn't draw a fiddle, really? They have two. Wait, one nightmare? Did I lose one fiddle somehow? Wait, what happened to my fiddle? What? It's bugged. I lost my toothpick as Aesol? What? Fiddle isn't real, he can't hurt you. Yeah, that was that, that was real. That was not fake news. That was not a setup for anything. That's just, that's just true. If they draw the tower during a full board attack, you lose it. But I had hand space the entire time. That's whack. My hand was not full for sure, no. Oh, there he is. Apparently, I still had one. Alright, they're dead. So, is this card bad? I feel like I never played a Dread Harvester. I'm never really in a position where I'm like, ah, oh, this is by far my best play right now. I think it's just a bad card. This playbook? I mean, I was supposed to have two and I only had one. Plus 33 health. Um, I mean, I'm kind of down to do Crystal Carrier, but at least we'll probably die on the attack. I mean, that's good. This also makes her zero man on turn one. I'll take the Iceborne Gauntlet. Summon two husks. I feel like this has become pretty good now with the amount of one drops that we have. But the Poros too? Let's take that. Okay, shop or better shop? I, yeah, it's a hot day, but I think I'm gonna go to the better shop. I'm kind of down to go up uh, because this kind of counters fiddle because I, the player cannot damage the foe's nexus, so I can never get terrified. Gnominator, thank you for the two years. Thank you. Appreciate all the support. I think this is fine. But the minus twenty. So it was, it's not really relevant. Also, I heard about this game that comes out next week. Uh, I'm probably going to play this on stream next week. This is the game where uh, you have to be quiet to survive, I guess, but you can make it so that your mic picks up sounds. So if I talk into the mic, the monster will hear me. I'm probably going to play that next week when it comes out. We'll play it on release. It sounds pretty fun. Lucky you. I'm the last thing you'll see. Oh my god. Got me. I pulled this. You should have TTS at 3 yeah, I'll probably set something up. I will. Can a spirit point to the deck? I can all learn too. I'll uh I'll I'll set something up with like uh Sounds or something you guys can redeem. Jump scare city. I refuse to use the pranks because it'll just make that annoying sound the entire time. Have you beaten the 6.5 fiddle yet? We're doing it right now. Well, I haven't I beaten it yet. Wanted to see the world. I think uh, we have a good run going, though. Like, a lot better than I thought we would. No! What? I wanted my spider lane. I know what lurks in the shadows. Yeah, you can play with four times speed, but for streaming, I think it's pretty miserable, so I'm not gonna do that. Smooth as... Ksitsu, thank you for the prime sub. Thank you, thank you. Ah, let's do that. Whew. All right. 
Goodbye. Good one. I think, uh, yeah, I saw that. Uh, I saw Brian Copelec talk about the 1.5 times speed. And I think that would be that would be perfect. To me, even two times just felt slightly too fast. Goodbye. Not goodbye. You still have units. Okay, 18 cards. Let's see. Hey, there he is. The boy. Six cards left. <laughs> the lack of boy signs and lore is insane. I at least expect more. It would have been nice, yeah. Um, to be honest, I'm just happy I have a playable card and actual new content. I think being able to play with a card, to me, is more important than any amount of lore and voice lines. I have chosen to accept it, and I choose to believe as well that in a future patch, patch they might add it. I think you're just dead, actually. Ah. Uh, <laughs> I see. The kill yourself before they can strategy. That's a good one. Because this terrified. I mean... Okay, the draw happens first. I still have one card. All right. Nice. Surely the music video was more expensive than the voices would have been. I think they're completely unrelated. I don't think it's even necessarily a, a money issue, but more like a... The team to do those things no longer really exists. Heal your nexus equal to my cost. That mysterious portal on me. I'm just gonna take this. Chop. <coughs> I took this last time and it was fine, but I didn't love it. This is one, or this is one terrify. Plus one plus zero and deathless. What the hell? We rolled into a legendary in a common shop? <laughs> Brother. What? Okay, free fall. At the end of round seven, deal 77 to the player's nexus. Okay. 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 It's new icups, new icups, new icups, new icups. It's new icup. Sell a manager, take him to 14 months. Trend power, do not problem. I think we got this one. We also have one extra revive. So we have two revives and a trinimer power. So we can die five times before <laughs> before we're game over. Guys, should I even get Fiddle 6 to 5 star at this point? Uh, to 6 star? Because he's 5 star right now. Do I really need that? Oh, rude. Yes. <laughs> All right, yes, yes, yes. What do I do with it? Do I, uh... Should we, should we like, beat all the, the weekly nightmares with him, then? We could do that. He has the best root there, a six-star by far. I do believe that. Yeah, it seems better than Aatrox and Nico. I don't know what else I would ever use it on. I would still be longing for a Fiddle 6-star if I didn't do it. You did not wait all this time just to leave that 5-star? You know what? Maybe you're right. Oh, wait. That's kind of good. Wait, does it? I need to kill this. Right now. Save up for Rise Constellation. <laughs> that will be next on my list. This not work. All right, get ready for P sound. Oh, I was kind of hoping to hit the will. So tomorrow when we're streaming, um, tomorrow I'm going to do some PVP. I'll probably also do PvE, but I wanna I wanna see what the new rotation's all about. I haven't I haven't even played any new cards, so I'm a little bit curious. So tomorrow we will try some PvP. They're not dead. Wait. 
It's round three. Okay, I still have some time. Wait. Wait. How, how does... How does this work? At the end of round seven, deal 77 to the player's nexus. But I have... I have Trindamir. Does this just counter this entire encounter? <laughs> do we do this for science? I'm scared they'll die if I... Oh god. Nah, okay, I can't. They're dead. What do you mean? I wanted to for science it, but they're just dead. I realized too late. Damn it. I want to. S I can't. They're they're already dead. I can't science it. I was gonna science it, but I I assume it would be entirely unspectacular. But if we ever get this set up again, I I will remember. Grant your strongest ally a random epic item in this game. Yeah, why, why the hell not? Well, after all, why the hell not? Sure, shadow totem there. I bet you lift that, but I I, I think I would. I'm pretty sure. I would. Okay. Stacked Balfies. Wait, are we already at Fiddle? We are. I am not healing myself. No, of course not. Okay, I'm gonna cut this card. I'll cut this guy. Okay, guys, here we are. At the very end already. Fiddlesticks versus Fiddlesticks. 6.5 star adventure. I think we did a little high rolling, though. So, honestly, it's been a bit of a breeze. It's not been that difficult. I'll be completely honest with you. May Kiki. Am I right there? May Kiki. Thank you for the Prime sub. Okay. So I'm not supposed to draw here. The foe plants eight units as nightmares in your deck. Round end. The foe terrifies one for each card you add it to your... Oh, it's added to your hand. It's not even draw. It's like creating cards too. I know what lurks in the shadows. This will be a bit of damage. You won't Came here only to leave my prime watching your fiddle game on YouTube right now. How are you enjoying the fiddle content? I have some pretty cool videos coming up. Uh, you're vengeancing my spider? Yeah, I have some pretty cool videos coming up. Like, uh, the Kaiser cosplay will probably eventually make it to YouTube. Um, might be doing some more guides for Pat stuff. And also, I'm going to show this really fast. This is on the Discord. So what I'm working on, I finally posted the first image. But I would love it if you guys have feedback on this. So I, I was working on a Ultimate Path Guide. Where it's basically um, a, a way... To filter by champion, instead of just getting like general information, like just a like multiple relic bolts, this lets you filter by champion and just have like tips and tricks, best powers to get for them, relic loadouts, constellation priorities, stuff like that. And of course, you know, if you want to see some gameplay, there's a link here too to my YouTube, stuff like that. So I want to eventually have this for every single champion. Right now, I've done one for Master Yi because I was playing him, and for Fiddlesticks. After this stream, I'll probably do one for Evelyn. Um, and then, you know, I'll go from there. But I would love feedback, like, for anything at all. I'm bad at Excel. So anything regarding formatting, uh, maybe I messed up some of the relic builds, etc. Let me know. I'm at 18 cards. There are 12. We're winning. Oh my god, wait, I add pranks to my hand. Oh, good play, dude. Good play, good play, good play, good play. Weren't you IT, IT sales? Excuse me? What do you mean IT sales? No, I wasn't. It was management, dude. It was consultancy. You think I would... You, me? You think I would get a job where I have to actually do something? No, dude. I was studying to be a manager. I don't want to actually work. I want to pretend to be working. <laughs> Come on, man. Don't be crazy. I think they're dead. 
We could use a bite. Oh my, okay. I mean, this is just crazy. They have 99 health. It just doesn't matter. Like, whatever you go against, it really doesn't matter. You're just... You're doing them. You don't have to kill them. You don't have to try. Alternate wing cons are here, boys. And guess what? They're consistent. Wait, they don't know me, right? Hey, there he is. Hey, you're very dead, dude. Let's go. Did you feel? Yeah, they, it can get burned. Yeah, you can burn nightmare. So you lost a fiddle to a bug. All right. Well, I'm not too upset because I got a victory screen anyway. Five star. This is a six point five star adventure. What? I think there is a an average amount of bugs in the game right now. By the way, I I'm just gonna say that right now. There are a couple of fiddle bugs. Uh, if Riot is listening, hey, if you need someone to play test for you, just add a Fiddlesticks V2, I'll gladly do it. You know, I'll make sure Fiddle Fiddlesticks V2 comes out real nice. I'll find all the bugs, trust me. Oh, there we go. So what did we get for that? 40 Fiddle Shards? Oh, but I don't need those. Okay. A sense of accomplishment. Ah, uh, that's what I play video games for, a sense of accomplishment. Okay, I like the adventure, though. I think this is... Together with Lissandra, this is the best designed adventure in the game. Actually, I like Aurelian Soul too, but I think there's not much, like, interesting design. But Fiddlesticks Adventure and Lissandra have really interesting mechanics, which is why I like them a lot. Together for Utera, the game will not die, not while we are alive. We will not let it die, no, 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 we won't allow. The world knows now who, what, when, 